Then he said to me, I knew you before the creation of the world. And I chose you and set your part to serve me as a witness in these last days. But I want to say to you, if I had come today to take my bride, you wouldn't be part of it. I wouldn't take you. I can't describe the shock that came upon me. I think I was in shock. I didn't even respond. It was like, to hit me. And he repeated it. He said, I wouldn't take you. For it is written, he will appear to those who wait upon him. And said, you are not living your life as a person waiting upon me. You are allowing all kinds of filth to come into your life. You are living like one who cares not. At that moment in my heart, as I said, I couldn't speak with my lips. I was feeling, this can't be happening to me. I thought, I give up my job to serve the Lord. I gave up my house which my father had given me because I wanted to go to the mission field. I gave up this, I gave up that. I, he, 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 this can't be God saying to me, he, he wouldn't take me. And all my theology and all my teachings could not accept that. And he spoke to me these words written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. He just quoted them. I found them later. I couldn't even remember that they were in the scriptures. But when later on I found them in the scriptures. And it says in verse 9. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral. Nor idolaters. Nor adulterers. Nor male prostitutes. Nor homosexual offenders. Nor thieves. Nor greedy no drunkards, no slanderers, no swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And he went on to say to me, your life is so full of filth. You walk with an outward appearance and you cover a lot of things in your heart. You forget that I'm the Lord who examines the heart. Said, you are not ready. You are not ready to meet me. He said, if your life is full of fornication, and everything in me said, oh no, that can't be. I said it in my heart, and the voice stopped. And for a moment there was silence. Then he said to me, because you don't even know your heart, I will show it to you. Remember this day, when you're in this place at this hour and brother sister I didn't remember I practically saw myself back in that very moment not as a memory as a reality I was back in that moment I saw myself seated in the taxi waiting for the taxi to be this like a, a cab to be filled and then I was looking out at some lady with all kinds of filthy imaginations and the moment it came back I said oh God I have sinned against you he said no you have not sinned you live in sin you live in that you live from morning to evening in such imaginations even in your bed at night you indulge in the same I know every moment of your private life I know your thoughts you don't even fear even in church seated in church someone steps up on the platform to serve me and you strip them naked in your imagination it says I am the Lord who examines the heart haven't you read that even he who looks upon a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her and pictures began to pass before me of how my imagination works and I could see this is not something I could say Lord I fell in sin Lord I was weak it was my way of life it was my it is a constant way of life I was comfortable in it and I was comfortable that nobody else could see it but God was saying I see it